Hi everyone, my name is Katie. I am the introverted reader and today I'm going to be reviewing a book that I just finished last night and I'm still gagging over it. Unravel Me by Tahera Mafi. I finished it last night, like I said, and it was so good. 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 I'm swinging around in my chair. I'm so excited. Um, this is the second book in her um, Shatter Me trilogy. I finished Shatter Me a good while ago, and I'm just binge reading the series right now. I just delve right into this one, and it's like 400 something pages. And I finished it in like four days. <laughs> it was so, so good. Um, I can't really give a synopsis on this particular book without spoiling. But if you're wanting to know more, a little bit about what the series is about, I have a review on the first book on this channel. So please go and watch that. Um, I don't think I give away any spoilers in that review, uh, anyway, about the synopsis anyway. So, yeah, so, um, okay, so, um, okay, so I can't really give a synopsis without spoiling, but I will tell you sort of in a nutshell how I feel about this book without spoiling. I loved it. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I love where the story is going. It is so addicting like whenever I wasn't reading this all I could think about um was just picking it up and and reading again um and I was just I was just I was just hooked like I literally sat on this bed just behind me um for like two straight hours just reading this because it was so good it was so good like I love to harem off his writing like I said on my shatter me review that it reminds me of Lani Taylor's writing a little bit and it's so nice because it's so beautiful and it's just so poetic and just ah oh. okay and remember I also said in that review that I didn't like Warner that was a big old lie what I'm eating my words right now right here <laughs> i really really like warner now and if you've read this book you probably understand what i'm saying you probably get where i'm coming from um okay anyway so warner as a character yes i like him i like him a lot <laughs> um our main character juliet i'm not a big fan of because she's so annoying she's so annoying and I understand she's been through a lot, but literally every other five minutes, homegirl is crying or screaming or crumbling down into the floor and can't move. Like it. <sighs> yeah, she she's very very annoying. And there was a particular scene in this book where she, where I literally sat like this with the book over my face in um, what's the word? In. I want to say torment because it was just it was a scene with her and Warner and again if you've read this book you understand <laughs> you understand I'm trying my best not to spoil but um actually do you know what do you know what actually I'm gonna spoil a little bit so if you have not read you need to go I've given you my overall thoughts I loved it I gave it four stars on Goodreads I need to talk about some things now um there's gonna be some spoilers so spoilers you don't want to be spoiled. Go away. Bye-bye. I'm going to put the book down and we're going to talk about some things. Right. Okay. Right. So I assume if you're still watching, you've either read this book or you've read um, this series. Anyway, I know I'm late to the party. I know it's been out for like four years or something, but you've something on your face. Sorry about that. Oh, let's fix yourselves. Okay. The scene with Warner and Juliet and they're having their like full on make out session. Things are getting hot and heavy. Garments of clothing are being removed. Like she's literally in her underwear. He's half naked and they're like, oh, they're getting to it. And she just goes, Adam. And I'm like, no, no. As soon as I saw that, I was like, she's gone and ruined everything like just 
I just, I wanted to reach through the book and slap her across the face. Like, I understand, okay? I understand she still cares about Adam. She always will. He was her first love. I understand that. But when you're with someone else and you've broken up with the that other person, um, you don't just, I don't care what the situation is. Don't say another person's name when you're you know doing stuff with someone else <laughs> I mean uh she's just so messed up in the head to be honest with you um I love Warner and I like Adam um I'm not really Juliet's big fan but like Oh, I don't think homegirl should be with any of them to be honest with you. I think she's just too messed up in the head and shouldn't be with anyone because mentally and emotionally I don't think she's there because like I was watching a review um, of this book um, last night um, Christine over at Pole and Bananas Books um, her book talk, which I understand was uploaded a couple of years ago, but I like watching her videos. If she has a book talk on a certain book that I haven't read, I like to watch her videos once I've read the book. So anyway, I was watching it last night and she was saying how Juliet and Adam don't really go all that well together because Juliet was just too dependent on him. Do you know what I mean? Like she, and that is so true. That's so true. Like she leans on Adam like he's her emotional crutch. And if he is gone or if something happens, like she, it's like she literally can't be on her own unless he's there. Do you know what I mean? And the smartest thing she did was breaking up with him. But then he started being all like, no, how am I supposed to be without you? How can you leave me? It's killing me. Can you see this is killing me? And I'm like, oh, there's, they're, they're just as bad as each other. Like they use each other as each other's emotional crutches and it's not fair on either of them. So I don't, that's why I don't approve of that relationship. Now, when her and Warner are together, Warner tells her constantly, you could conquer the world. You can do whatever you want. Do you realize the power that you have within your hands? Do you realize what you can do? And like, she's just like, no, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I'm a monster. Don't touch me. It's just, oh. Oh, she is just so frustrating. But um, I think slowly but surely she's coming to it. Like by the end of this book, I feel like she's sort of coming around, kind of. There were moments in this book where I was kind of thinking, okay, maybe she's coming around because she would say like, um, cause like the whole thing, whenever she broke up with, with Adam and she was talking about how it's not fair on him and I need to learn to be on my own and da 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 da. And that's, that, that speech that Kenji gave her and Kenji, by the way, I adore. Like, as far as favourite characters go, it goes for me, Kenji, Warner, and then James, who is Adam's wee ten-year-old brother. He's precious. I love him. And then Adam, and then Juliet would be at the very, very bottom, because she's an emotional little wreck. <laughs> um, oh, and what was I saying? Oh, yes. The speech that Kenji was giving her, like they, he was offering to train her so she could use her powers and stuff properly. And he was all like, you know, there are bigger problems out there than you and your boyfriend, okay? You need to stop sitting in corners all the time, crying and feeling sorry for yourself. You have food, you have clothes in your back, you have a, a place to pee in, in peace. And you're sitting there complaining about how, oh, my boyfriend broke up with me, where, where, where? And he's like, boo freaking who, okay, sweetie? Talk about first world problems. You need to stop sitting around and feeling sorry for yourself. You need to get up because there are bigger problems out there than you. You need to grow up. And I was just, that is exactly what she, that was what she needed to hear. And I feel like there were moments throughout this book where she did take those words to heart. And I feel, I, I, I'm so glad that he said that to her because yes, he is her friend and yes, he is going to look out for her and stuff. But like, I feel like a true friend, I'll tell you this, a true friend is someone who supports you and obviously loves you, but also at the same time, if, you, if you're if you getting a little bit too big for your boots 
or you're starting to act like someone that they know you're not, they, uh, that like a true friend would call you out on your BS. Like I, I definitely would. And I feel like Kenji was definitely a real true friend to her when he said that because he was just like, look, I am your friend. I am here to help you, but you need to go the F up and you need to just stop crying all the time and being so selfish because you are acting selfish. So anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to get that out. But like all in all, I adored this book and like right now at the very end of this book we find out i know after the big battle and everything that everything is just being destroyed we don't know if kenji or adam or anybody is alive and it's just juliet and warner at this point and i've started on i started on the third one last night it's over there. it's right there can you see it it's on my nightstand it's right there my nightstand's a mess i know um but yeah those are my thoughts on unravel me i adored this book Depending how on Ignite Me goes, this might be my favourite in the whole trilogy. If you've read this before, let me know if you feel the same way I do. Um, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video, which will probably be a review of Ignite Me coming very, very soon. Okay, bye bye.